All right, so Chandler got a new Holy Relic this week, and uh, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it just has the absorbing the energy around it, I guess. I think I would prefer like a more blue color scheme instead of orange, but well, looks pretty decent. And uh, let, let's get into PvP, and we'll talk about what it does as we go. I, um, I'll do a, a match with Zeldris, because um, why not? But I'll swap to Assault Melee after this. Um, the Relic. Uh, when Chandler uses a stance, removes all debuffs on him, and decreases damage taken by 30%. Increases HP related stats by 20% for two turns. Not bad. The 30% damage reduction is quite nice. Sigurd. 30% damage reduction. And I also have Tarmir Link on him, so that could also be uh, helpful. Let's go with this. I'm going to just waste the Zaldus cards for space. Good damage. So much damage it takes. I mean, this is damage reduction, so we're, we're just going to be looking at how much damage it takes. More than anything. You can see the HP increase and the damage reduction. Those are buffs. They're not like gray or anything. Oh, he took no damage there. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, you lower... The, the, the Holy Relic kind of glows when you do the attack. It's kind of nice. You lower... Their stats and you have the damage reduction. That's that's pretty decent. That's my other counter. Um, you know what? For the sake of doing so, let's push the Zaldus ultimate. Why not? He's gonna be encroached next turn. We'll see how much damage it takes when he's encroached. He might still get one shot. Oh, that's with three darkness. Let's see. The Estorosin, at the end, his stats were lowered so much that he didn't even do damage. This is a this is not like an ungeared Astoros or anything. Damn. Uh, I can only debuff two characters, so not bad. Pretty tanky. Can Zelda's ultimate kill? Let's see. It did. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> you get the ending screams with uh, Chandler, though. I think if I do the one attack with Zeldris, it won't kill. Then Chandler should. I was wrong. I was uh, wrong about that. Cool ending screams for Zeldris, though. It's a good relic to go second with, because you cleanse, so you can use like dodge food with assault melee. It's the same person. Okay. You can use dodge food with assault melee, which is kind of nice. Let's do this. He's not the same person, because the other person had Troy Melly. I want to say. Didn't notice though. Oh. Okay. I put up the stance, and then I attacked, so I lost the damage reduction. Just realized that, because of Vesterosa's commitment. Let's uh, disable you, put up another counter, and then uh, combine Zelda's cards. 
I'll let Chandler do the work. Cleanse the defense lower, but it doesn't cleanse the darkness. He is encroached now because of the counter, he's gonna do no damage here. We're both encroached. Uh, if I had saved the counter card, maybe I could have actually... Oh no, it, it cleansed itself because that's just a dime. Never mind. I was gonna say I could have actually cleansed the encroachment, but it will cleanse anyways. The ultimate sucks, so I'm not expecting much from it. I could not expect much from Zell, just... Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that was pretty good from Zaljus. He actually crit this time. Yeah. We have the Zaljus in the back. The new one. The passive still works, so we should be getting. Yep. Twelve. I guess he has bond in the back. So lowers our lowers our attack. No, it's four. It's twelve. What am I, what am I thinking? I thought for a second. I thought his attack increase was six percent. It's four percent. So he only only goes up to twelve attack related stats. I'm thinking his passive is <laughs> I'm thinking Zaljus' passive is better than it actually is. Ooh! Tanking pretty well. Oh <laughs> Um We attacked after the counter. So we lost the damage reduction. Then Rimu removed the HP increase. That was just Rimu not hitting very hard. <laughs> I guess. Let me kill the Rimuru. I want to see how he tanks Lilia. Cleanses the debuffs. Let's see. Expect nothing less from tanking a Kyo attack, so... It's Kyo. Lily? What? What was that? Is he sabotaging me? Well, next match we'll get to see some good tanking, I guess. The Zaldrus. Okay. I am now scared. Um, I will disable his peers, so he can't do damage with the AoE. And then counter. Sealing my healing is pretty concerning, but... My... Oh! Instead, just push the Astro's ultimate. 6-6. Six, six. One six. That means I'm not concerned. <laughs> uh, maybe I should be. We'll see. We'll find out. I have my damage reduction with Chandler and my HP increase. And he's not gonna debuff me with his ultimate. So he's not gonna do much damage increase. Chandler is actually gonna take actual damage because he has three stances and two buffs, but he's disabled, so 
you know, the, the effect doesn't actually apply. Good damage, Zaldris. Zelda's is a social experiment. Actually. I should have targeted Esterosa. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I should have targeted Esterosa. I'm actually losing now. He is encroached. So. I... <laughs> you know what? You know why his Zelda's hit for zero damage? It's because we had Zeldris in the back. So we lowered his Zeldris' attack. Not attack really, it's just attack, so it's worse. But attack by 18%. I think. It's 6% per demon, right? Should be. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to give excuses to say Zeldris is good. <laughs> Power up. Disable. Here we. Surely he'll attack me. No! I keep forgetting that I can't attack after the counter. It's just so muscle memory to me. To always put the counter first. But I literally lose the buff. If I do that. God damn Mr. Olsen. Why couldn't Zaldris have a commandment? I don't care if it makes no sense. Give Zaldris a commandment, goddammit, so he... he would, I don't have to choose the Starosis. I don't have options. Now I have the dip. Actually, he's gonna remove the damage reduction, is he? Or does he remove the HP? We'll find out. He removes the damage reduction. Okay. Those, of course, removes passive, not Asterosis Commandment. The HP increase helps still, though. So. I mean, it's nice. Although, between... Um, this... And between this and the Zaldra's Relic, I'm gonna be honest, I'll I'll pick Zaldra's Relic. The fast Zaldra's Relic is actually very good. Like genuinely, like no meme, fast Zaldra's with the Relic is better than the new Zaldra's. Because the new Zaldra's, he lowers the attack by 18%, but then the, the old one, lowers attack related stats by 10 percent it's the difference between being crit and not being crit and of course the passive from the other zaldris is better as well the 24 percent stat increase Let's see the level three it's for funsies I mean, it depends. If you really like Chandler, I think this relic is actually pretty good. It, it's a, it's, it, it's good for what he does. No. Oh wow. I was surprised he does much, that much damage in a character with no darkness. Very lolly Merlin. Counters do bypass lolly Merlin's path. They even want to deal with him. Yeah, they saw the uh, obscenely high four characters. No. Just attack my chamber. Okay. Burning Hilda. Oh, this is a good test. Okay. This is a good test. I'm not gonna disable Burning Hilda. Uh, I'm gonna disable Remo. So he doesn't. Take off my uh, life steal. Okay. 
What are you doing? Could have disabled Brynhildr. But it's okay. I want to see the damage. Oh, he took nothing. Yes, lowering her stats as well also helps. He doesn't have the introduction right now, but he has the HP increase. So, based on the HP that he has, it looks like he took nothing. Because, of course, he's also lowering her stats. Unfortunately, you know, Rimuru re took off our damage reduction. It is what it is. Wow. I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's as good as Dien's Relic. To be honest, Dien's Relic is cracked. Um, or Zelda's Relic, but it's pretty good. Yeah. 